just about the whole world is measuring metrically and having an easier time of it. Throughout the world, there is one common system used for measurement of length, volume, and mass, the metric system. That's the decimal-based system, which uses the meter, liter, and gram as its primary units of measurement, along with Celsius as the basic unit of temperature. It is truly international, with only three countries in the world that don't adhere, Liberia, Myanmar, and the United States of America. But there have been numerous attempts in the U.S. to go metric, going almost as far back as the late 18th century, when the French created the system. Those efforts were ramped up in the 1970s, starting on August 18, 1972, when the U.S. Senate unanimously approved a metric conversion bill. No action on the bill was taken in the House, and the metric bill died. Well, there's something new for Uncle Sam. It's out with the pound and in with kilogram, out with the foot, in with the meter, out with the quart and in with the liter. But even without the force of Congress, the idea of converting to the metric system was part of the daily conversation. Educational films about the proposed conversion were a staple in U.S. classrooms in the 70s. In 1975, President Gerald Ford signed into law a Metric Conversion Act, which called for the establishment of a U.S. metric board to coordinate the conversion. But that board was discontinued by President Ronald Reagan in 1982. No other serious metric campaigns have caught on since. Still, in subtle ways, the metric system has become a part of our language. One example, large bottles of soda are now identified as two-liter bottles. And when you run a 5K race, well, you're paying tribute to the metric system, a system which is common almost everywhere in the world except the United States. <laughs>